What's up guys, Jay Fresh Beats back with another video and today we're going to talk about compression. So, everybody knows that at some point in your production life, you're going to use compression. That's right, compression. So, let's talk about what a compressor is. So, a compressor detects the amplitude which is greater than the threshold that is set. What? So basically, if I'm speaking like this and my threshold is down here, it's detecting already what I'm saying. Now, there are different parameters within a compressor and we're going to talk about that and show that here. Now, that button that's called threshold, it's basically where you set the threshold of how high or how low you want certain things like the audio to be. That other button over there, that ratio button, is basically your dynamic section. So if you have the ratio, it's four to one, eight to one, two to one, 12 to one, 16 to one, you get the point. Now in that dynamic section, for every, let's say we said four to one, for every four, db that it goes above it brings it back down to one the lower the ratio the higher the dynamic what jesus christ now let's talk about those last two buttons the attack and release now if you have a fast attack that's how fast the compressor reacts if you have a slow release that's how long the compressor stays engaged now for everything that you reduce within your meter if the metering goes to three but everything you reduce you have to do a makeup gain which is that last button it either says makeup gain or output you have to make that back up by a certain amount of db and that's compression it's really simple guys a lot of people don't know what they're doing and i hope that this um pretty much opened your eyes about compression and helped you use it a little bit more um we'll talk more about this in later videos to come we interrupt our program to bring you this important message november the 14th is when Renewed comes out, but you can pre-order it on iTunes and on Spotify and all the major platforms out there right now for a dollar and 29 cents. One dollar and 29 cents. That's crazy, right? Yes, you can get that right now for a dollar and 29 cents. And then on November the 14th, it's gonna be re released everywhere everywhere is going to be released everywhere so please go cop that and uh you'll be hearing more news about that you've probably already seen it on my facebook i've been shouting it out you probably have already seen it on my instagram as well it's coming to light renewed is coming out what about the drone so here's the drone um so the reason i'm not doing a review on the drone just yet is simply because it's raining. Yeah, so that really put a damper on the drone. Um, I'm still put some shots of what I've taken with it. I did do the 4K video and the 4K video looks amazing. Uh, they did end up sending me another battery. So I actually have two batteries now. And um, so yeah, we can definitely get this thing on the road, get it on and popping, get everything charged up, and actually get some actual better flying time. Um, the way I see it with two batteries, I can get mm, probably about 18 minutes of flying time, which is really good. Um, I, I really got tired of get being out there for about like 
seven to eight minutes and that's all I could do. But now that I have two batteries, I can be out there for longer and um, actually fly this thing. So while one battery depletes, the other one is charging. It takes about an hour for both of them to charge. So um, yeah, yeah, pretty much. So that's about the drone. Here is the footage now. <laughs> Yeah, the footage keeps getting better and better. Um, I wish this thing had a gimbal on it so it could be stabilized and doesn't shake so much in the wind. You know, um, you have to really go out in a non-windy day. But as far as just aerial shots this is amazing it gets pretty high 160 meters up and 160 meters wide really great drone for those of you starting out and want a good photography drone um, that gets you really good shots and it's in 4k there's this one I definitely recommend if you like what you saw leave a like leave a comment um, also let me know what you guys think about the aerial shots. Um, just put that in the comment section, please. Um, we really are ecstatic about a lot of things and we're trying to get to 100 views if you can. And if once we get to 100 views, I'm definitely going to make a track in front of you guys. I don't care how long it is, I'm gonna make one in front of you guys. So, if we get to 100 views, you know it's coming. Alrighty, peace. <laughs>